Now we are going to see that uh, how does the distribution of a sample mean look like when we take our uh, simple random samples from a non-normal distribution. Like uh, in, the, in this simulation what I'm going to show you is that uh, even if the population is not normal like this one as you can see which is an exponential population with mean of 10 units and a standard deviation of 10 units you will see that the simulations show that the distribution of sample means will still show a normal distribution so let's go ahead and see how that looks like so let us go ahead and use this uh, statistical package called Minitab to look at distribution of sample means from a non-normal distribution. Uh, in our case, we are taking an exponential distribution with a mean of how much? 10 and consequently the standard deviation of what? 10. Okay. So what we are going to do is that we are going to take 1000 rows of data which we are going to uh, and we are going to do that in 40 columns in other words what we shall have is this that we shall have uh, 1000 samples of size 40 each from an exponential population of uh, mean how many 10 units and consequently standard deviation 10 units so you can see here we have uh, uh, how many 40 columns each column each column has how many numbers in that 1000 so we have 1000 rows of size 40 each which we can treat as what say 1000 samples of size 30 each so we will go ahead and compute the mean of each of these samples and see that how does their distribution look like okay so we are going to go ahead compute the row mean of who of uh, the numbers in each of the rows and we shall say that put that in the 41st column so every number in this column here is the mean of these samples of size how much 40 right okay so for example the first sample has a mean of 9.766 the second one has a mean of 7.97 the third one is 7.62 the fourth one is 11.65 approximately etc etc okay and we have how many we got uh, like uh, 10 uh, 1000 such numbers okay so let's see how does a histogram of these numbers look like whether it does show a you know approximately a bell-shaped distribution because the population doesn't and you can see this is reasonably bell-shaped and our population was not even close to it remember this is the population this is the distribution of the population from where these samples are coming from all right and let's also verify our formula let's take an illustration of our formulas that is we will look at the descriptive statistics of these sample means and you can see that the mean should be 9.9895 and the standard deviation is what 1.5832 and in case we go by the formula here I did the computation com computation for you 10 over a square root of 40 where 40 is our sample size is 1.5811 what do we have in this simulation 1.5832 it's not too far and well we are going to later on see how far we can consider too far but right now I think that uh, you know I, I, I hope I have uh, made you believe so late in the evening that uh, even if we sample from a non-normal 
population, the sample means will still show a normal distribution for sample size that are very large. All right. So let us go ahead and use this uh, statistical package called Minitab to look at distribution of sample means from a non-normal distribution. Uh, in our case, we are taking an exponential distribution with a mean of how much? 10 and consequently the standard deviation of what? 10. Okay. So what we are going to do is that we are going to take 1000 rows of data which we are going to uh, and we are going to do that in 40 columns. In other words, what we shall have is this that we shall have uh, 1000 samples of size 40 each from an exponential population of uh, mean how many? 10 units and consequently a standard deviation 10 units. So you can see here we have uh, uh, how many? 40 columns. Each column, each column has how many numbers in that? 1000. So we have 1000 rows of size 40 each which we can treat as what? Say 1000 samples of size 30 each. So we will go ahead and compute the mean of each of these samples and see that how does their distribution look like. Okay, so we are going to go ahead, compute the row mean of who? Of uh, the numbers in each of the rows and we shall say that put that in the 41st column. So every number in this column here is the mean of these samples of size how much? 40, right? Okay, so for example, the first sample has a mean of 9.766. The second one has a mean of 7.97. The third one is 7.62. The fourth one is 11.65 approximately, etc., etc. Okay, and we have how many? We got uh, like uh, 10, uh, 1000 such numbers. Okay, so let's see how does a histogram of these numbers look like, whether it does show a you know, approximately a bell-shaped distribution because the population doesn't and you can see this is reasonably bell-shaped and our population was not even close to it remember this is the population this is the distribution of the population from where these samples are coming from all right and let's also verify our formulas let's take an illustration of our formulas that is we'll look at the descriptive statistics of these sample means and you can see that the mean should be 9.9895 and the standard deviation is what? 1.5832 and in case we go by the formula here I did the computation for you 10 over a square root of 40 where 40 is our sample size is 1.5811. What do we have in this simulation? 1.5832. It's not too far and well we are going to later on see how far we can consider too far but right now I think that uh, you know I, I, I hope I have uh, made you believe so late in the evening that uh, even if we sample from a non-normal population, the sample means will still show a normal distribution for sample size that are very large. All right.